We're not even close. We're at 280. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Hard plastic. Way better. So far. Oh. Hey, I'm Kevin with CAD Dimensions, and I'm here with Adam Fosnock. He's one of our technical solution specialists with our hardware group. And we're out here in the blistering cold of upstate New York <laughs> in uh, the end of January. Because honestly, it's better lighting, and we want you guys to get a good shot at this, so we're sacrificing for you, okay? Um, we are going to recreate a test that we did a few months ago. Um, we tried to do uh, some different testing with our new material from Stratasys called TPU that has a lot of elasticity to it. And uh, we caught some flack. People didn't like the way we did the test. We decided that we were going to take a more scientific approach to it. So Adam has come in now, and Adam's brought us a few different samples of stuff. So Adam, I wonder if you can show us uh, and walk us through the different types of rings that we have here. Sure, so I designed a handful of different parts. Uh, this ring uh, is exactly the same uh, as the ones that we tested in the previous video. Uh, this one was printed laying flat just like this, so the layer lines go all the way around. We, we printed this one in another orientation, face up just like this, and so the layers uh, go from right to left as it stacks up. So we're expecting this to be much weaker than the first ring. So TPU struggles with uh, really small uh, cross sections of parts and so this one has uh, small cross sections on each end so that causes more stringing in the print. It's another reason this one is expected to be weaker than the one laying down. Uh, this one uh, is really similar but this was printed on our Connex printer. Uh, so this is a digital material of Agilis and Vera Black uh, at Shore 95. So this is comparing Polyjet technology with FDM both with elastomers. Next we have some thicker samples, and again we printed these in two different orientations. This one was laying down flat, this one was printed vertically, and so the layer lines go this way, and the layer lines would go this way on both of these samples so that we can compare the strength depending on how the part is oriented. And last we have a couple of ABS pieces, uh, again printed in separate orientations. This one was vertical, this one was laying down, so that we can compare ABS to TPU uh, and see how they break differently. And we have reconfigured our setup here, and I'm going to have Adam Fosnack here kind of walk us through uh, how we've got this set up for our test today. Sure, so we wanted to, to do a little bit better than water jugs. Uh, so what we did here was we essentially made a, a pulling rig uh, out of Big Joe here. Uh, so we've got one of our samples um, attached to the bottom uh, of the lift, and then we have a force gauge to be able to measure uh, how much we're applying uh, to our, uh, our sample part. Uh, and we're lifting that up uh, with the forks, and so we'll be able to, to kind of crank it up from the back. Um, and apply more force to it gradually and be able to record when it breaks. And now, Adam, just a reminder, this <laughs> is uh, the example of the band that we saw earlier that's printed uh, horizontally or vertically, right? So it's printed uh, going up vertically. We don't really expect it to have that much tensile strength, really. Right, right. Yeah. I'm, I'm expecting this one to break pretty, pretty immediately yeah. um, since it was printed uh, in the wrong direction according to the layer lines. Uh, to make it as strong as it could. So this one will break quickly, and the ones that were oriented laying flat should take a lot more force to break. Let's check it out. All right. Okay, so we have first the uh, the uh, vertically the vertically yeah. oriented uh, piece of TPU ring. Suck the tear on it. We good to go. Action. I don't know what it was at, but we have the recording. So it was about 31 pounds. We'll have to go back and uh, look at the official tape, but by the time you see this, we'll know 31 pounds, pretty easy snap. So material number two is going to be our uh, horizontally layered piece of TPU material. And this is what we tested last time, right? Correct. This is what we tested uh, last time we did this. Same exact thing. Forty-five or six. Oh, oh 
Oh. <laughs> that was more than I was expecting. Yeah, that was a lot more than I expected. <laughs> okay, so look at that. <laughs> Dang. That flew when it that broke. That is too. cool. And it's just, I mean, can you see it? It's like frayed. That's cool. But it held up, man. That's I a mean, lot longer. if you look at that original shape. And then for that's comparison, a, that's where we started. So that's how much stretch you had. That's a huge difference, too, just based on part orientation. Right, right. That was the only change in these two was the orientation of the part. Okay, so here we have ring number three. And this is printed with a combination of Agilis and Vero Black in our Polyjet uh, Connex machine. So this is an entirely different material, um, an entirely different methodology of printing, really, too. So we're going to see how this compares to the TPU material that was done on our FDM machine. So, uh, what do you think it'll break? What pound? 70 is a pretty good bet. Yeah? I'll, I'll, go, I'll go 80. 80? Yeah. 70, 80, what do you think? Uh, I'll say, say I'll say 110. 110? Ooh. I think it's got a little... What do you think? Hmm, let's say 90. 90? Eighty-three. Got it. You did. Oh, that was cool really time. good. <laughs> yeah. Nice. All right. About. I think it was exactly eighty-three. Let's get that out of there. What Let's does first. it look like? This is the one we just tested. So this is the polyjet part, uh, and then this is the TPU part. And so it's funny how similar they look after they broke. This is ABS. So it is much more that hard, brittle plastic that you're used to seeing in consumer product good stuff. And this is, again, our TPU material that's got that flexibility to it. So I think we do this one first and see, uh, and see what it'll do. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. All right. So don't mess this one up, Kevin. I'm doing, I'm doing my best. Stretch. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Yeah, just fractured. Here. Um, I was really hoping for something more like uh, like in the middle where it's like super thin, but it kind of makes sense that it would fracture where the two shapes meet each other. And it fractured right along a layer line, which is to be expected. Next one, we're gonna do same shape, same orientation, but with TPU. The final numbers was probably close to about 300 pounds of weight that our hard ABS plastic printed in the tall but incorrect orientation um, yielded. So now we want to see uh, how our TPU material printed on the same machine, um, just a different kind of material, how that's going to hold up when it's also in the wrong orientation. Okay, tears reset. We should be good. We're all good? Yeah. Action. That startled me. <laughs> yeah, that was the improper one. Oh boy. And that's... so the one that was printed flat for strength will probably last a lot longer if the if the ring test we did earlier is any is any indication. Okay. Two ninety seven. So not less? Super far off from the hard plastic. That's interesting. What was the ABS? 302. Okay. Oh, it was within, within five pounds is pretty That's really, is pretty crazy. Yeah. So next we have that same piece of ABS, except you'll notice instead of it being uh, oriented in sections like that going up, it's horizontal going down. Yeah, it looks, um, it's really neat. Wow. Well, I wanted it to break right in the middle. 
That's yeah. why I made it thinner than anything else. And it didn't work. So we're down to our last piece that we're going to test out and as you can see this is the horizontally oriented uh, TPU material as you would expect it to see with the layer lines going that way. So we expect that this is going to hold up pretty well. Um, let's give it a shot and see what happens. That hard plastic is way better. So far. Whoa! Dang! But well, look how far it stretched. Yeah. This one stretched the furthest. True. Yeah, it definitely stretched the furthest. Alright, let's see the damage. It's so cool to me how the TPU and the ABS break like in the exact same way. Yeah. Like they both broke in this weird V-shape pattern. But it's also interesting because it's like it broke along the same lines that the infill uses. Yeah. It's cool. All right, so that's our video. We want to thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel. Uh, check out all the links below. If you want to see us do something uh, on a future video, let us know. Put your submissions down below, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Thank you.